Hey there, youth and youth families, and welcome back to this edition of Tabletop Curbside. Tabletop. Tabletop Curbside Youth Edition. Boy, it was fantastic to see so many of you come out last Monday. Uh, man, to see your smiling faces, it made me smile for the rest of the day, maybe even the rest of the week. And I'm so looking forward to seeing all of you this coming Monday. Um, this week, we're going to be focused on the spiritual discipline of prayer. I was watching a church service the other day and the pastor was talking a little bit about prayer and he described prayer something like this. It is a natural, almost like instinctual, uh, conversational or relational response to the things that we learn about God. Let me break that down a little bit. So basically, when you know something about God, we'll see it in our prayer life. And our prayers is kind of the relational thing that we do in response to the things that we know about God. Um, if we know that he's real and he's good, we're likely to want to spend time with him and talk with him, right? That's basically how it works. Let me give you another picture, uh, something apart from a prayer and stuff like that. Um, it's like this. My mom is probably the best cook in the entire world. And she always makes enough for me and for about 20 people whenever I go over there to eat. So this is what I know about my mom. So what I do in response is this. I don't eat a lot before I go to my mom's place. And I always make sure that I wear something stretchy. All right, so you get kind of the picture because I know this is true about my mom's cooking and stuff like that. I respond with some actions. So we're going to talk a little bit about how our prayer life is influenced by some of the things that we know about God. So the question that I wanna ask you, and I'd love for you just to explore even with the people around you, or just to sit and think about this for a little while, is what have you been learning about God lately? And then how does that affect your conversations with him? Take a few moments to think about some of those things. You know, I've shared it with you before that my prayer life is often more like me dictating a shopping list to God. Uh, a list of my needs and my wants and the things that I realize that are outside of my abilities to do for myself. And I realize that this perspective on prayer is neither biblical or really all that effective. So it makes sense why my prayer life doesn't always feel very vibrant. It reflects that I often feel that God is distant from me emotionally, so I just ask for stuff rather than really talk to him about things. And maybe I see him more as a cosmic genie, um, there for my every wish, someone that I can use primarily for my pleasure. However, when I really get to know God, uh, as he reveals himself in scripture, I'm able to get a more accurate picture of him and I'm able to respond re relationally and conversationally with him in my prayer life. Last week, we talked a little bit about meditation and that is when we learn to silence ourselves and prepare our hearts to see God. This week we'll talk about prayer as our conversational, our relational response to when we do see him. Over the next week, we're going to learn how to pray. The disciples asked Jesus to teach them, and we're going to take a look at what Jesus said in response, which was really kind of a step-by-step -step sort of way to pray. And we call it the Lord's Prayer, and we're going to talk about how, what each part of that special prayer means. Each video, we're going to have a little activity for you to do at home, so don't forget to look for more videos each day. And also, you're going to need your curbside youth package uh, for some of the activities, so don't forget to come and join us anytime between 1 o'clock and 6.30 on Mondays here at the church. But if you're unable to make it in that time, don't worry. Just shoot us a text or a direct message and we will connect a time that works for you. Hey, blessings on your day. Thank you.